Joining me from North Carolina are Hillary and her 17-year-old daughter, Caitlin, who is one of those would-be graduating teens. So guys, thank you so much uh, for talking about this because you represent an awful lot of people that are in your same situation. And Caitlin, let me start with you. A lot of things that you had planned on have just been canceled, right? What all has been taken out? Um, so I just found out that our prom yesterday was canceled. Um, in Durham, most likely graduation is going to be canceled. If not, it'll be online, which is like not what I thought would happen at all. Um, I'm a big, like <clears throat> in chorus, like all of our future chorus concerts are canceled. Um, which is really sad because like there's going to, of course, just means a lot to me because I've been doing it since sixth grade. Um, yeah, just like everything's canceled. I can't see my friends, you know, I'm obviously stuck here. Just like all the prom, I, yeah, I already said prom. But like Yo, everything, like, these last two months were supposed to be like the most important months of, of high school. And Hillary, Wait this up. is heartbreaking for you as a mother to watch her miss out on all of these opportunities, right? Yeah, I mean, we have a prom dress upstairs waiting. Um, <clears throat> last week, last Thursday, her chorus concert, her spring chorus concert was canceled. Um, her last dress, dress up concert. She was supposed to perform at Durham's, uh, Durham Performing Arts Center, which is a huge um, school wide, like district performance where there's like, elementary school through high school we're supposed to perform at this one place um right. that was canceled and her um, 18th birthday is coming up in two weeks and you can't even celebrate that so let me just ask you a straight up question because we have to stay really tight here as a mother do you feel really helpless that you can't help her here yeah i mean this was her year and it was all about her the, these past next few months and now we're quarantined and there is no special anything, you know, um, there's no pictures, no, no gatherings, no nothing. Yeah. And it's just kind of empty. And I don't know how to like make her still feel super special as if it was still her, her time to shine. Does that make sense? It does. And let me weigh in here if I can, because let me tell you what's special. What's special is your daughter being safe and healthy. And that's your primary job as a parent is for to come out of the other end of this tunnel with her being safe and healthy and you being safe and healthy. That's what's really special. And these memories that you're talking about, do everything you can to create those experiences because this is going to come to an end. It, this is going to peak and we're going to come out the other side of this. And a lot of these things are going to be post dated. You're going to have to say, all right, you know what? We're going to get this class together and we're going to have that dance. We're going to get this class together and we're going to have that graduation. We're going to do some things that are later than we planned, but we are going to have those experiences. But in the meantime, Put that dress on, take those pictures, create those memories that will mean something 20 years from now, and it will be the most memorable time of any prom ever because it was under quarantine. Nobody else will be able to say that. You know, recognize what you do have instead of what you don't have. And honestly, this isn't forever. It will come, it feels like forever. But it will come to an end, and if these kids want it, they will get together and create those things once we get the all clear. Just know that it's going to come to an end, but honestly, put those things together and take those pictures, celebrate those things, use technology. All of you get together where you're all on the screen at one time and have fun. 